Peace and Pan-Africanism, brothers and sisters. Peace and Pan-Africanism. It's your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifa Tunde. I'm live and direct from your school, my school, our school, the infamous Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy for Pan-African Excellence. brothers and sisters. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my African continental family. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Africans in Europe. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my revolutionaries in Asia. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Australian Africans, my South Pacific Africans, my Canadian Africans, my Caribbean Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my American Africans, my Texas Africans, my Georgia Africans, my New Jersey Africans, my Connecticut Africans, my New York Africans, my Pennsylvania Africans, my Wisconsin Africans, and California Africans, and Oregon Africans, and Iowa Africans, and Arkansas Africans, and Louisiana Africans, and Mississippi Africans, it's your big brother, King Kong Consciousness, Dr. Umar Ifa Tunde. I'm coming to you live and direct from your school, my school, our school. I'm coming to you live and direct from your school, my school, our school. I'm coming to you live and direct from your school, my school, our school. Shout out to Sister Val. She blessed me with a new African kufi today. Y'all like my new kufi, Orumila? My new colors? That gold Oshun, mother of FDMG, okay? I'm not going to keep y'all too long today. I'm not going to keep y'all too long today. I'm not going to keep y'all too long today. Where are my beautiful African natural-headed queens at? Where are my beautiful African natural-headed queens? If you a natural-headed sister right now, if you got your own hair right now, and you didn't do nothing to that hair. You didn't color it. You didn't add fake hair to it. You didn't perm it. If you are a sister right now with your own hair right now and you didn't do nothing to that hair to process it, to add to it, to color it, then give me your hearts at. Where are my natural headed queens at? Where are my natural headed queens at? Where are my natural headed American African queens. We're my natural headed Caribbean African queens. We're my natural headed British queens and French queens and German African queens. We're my natural headed Jamaican queens and Haitian queens and uh, Turks and Caicos queens, Bahamian queens, Bermudan queens. We're my natural headed Texas queens, my Philly queens, my Jersey queens. Listen, ladies. The weather is about to break. The weather is about to break. Ladies, make sure you leave something to be desired by your man when you go outside this spring and summer. I don't want you half naked. I don't want my sisters half naked this summer. It's okay to show a little thigh. Make sure you got that shea butter on those kneecaps though, okay? Make sure... Make sure you got some shea butter, some cocoa butter, some avocado butter on them kneecaps, okay? But ladies, make sure you cover it up this spring and summer, all right? 35 to 55-year-old, single, natural, curvy queens, you all belong to the king. 35 to 55, you belong to Ifa Tunde. Brothers, you can, have 50, you can have 56 and over, and you can have 34 and younger. Brothers, I said you can have 34 and younger and 56 and over. Brothers, I said you can have 34 and younger and 56 and over. But if they 35 to 55, if they 35 to 55 natural and curvy, they belong to King Kong consciousness. Now, today. I want to say we're going to focus on the children. School 
will soon be coming to an end. Some school districts get out in May. Some school districts get out in June. Some school districts get out in May. Some school districts get out in June. So for parents, I want you to listen in. I got 10 tips for black parents that I want you to follow as we get close to the end of the school year. Black parents, listen up. We're getting close to the end of the school year. I got 10 tips, 10, 10 tips for all black parents, especially public and charter school, especially public and charter school, especially public and charter school. But this also applies to children in parochial school, independent school, Catholic school. Listen up. Number one, do not consent to any special education evaluations from this day forward. Do not sign permission for your child to be tested for special education from this day until the end of the year unless it is speech Unless it is blindness, deafness, visual impairment, hearing impairment, brain injury, orthopedic impairment, do not allow an evaluation for learning disabilities, emotional disturbances, intellectual disabilities, other health impairment for ADHDs, and be careful with autism. And be careful with autism. Why is Dr. Umar, why is Dr. Umar saying no evaluations for the rest of the year? The reason I'm saying no evaluations for the rest of the year is due to the fact that your child would be getting evaluated off the opinions of this year's teacher, but he will be special educated or medicated in next year's classroom. Does it make any sense to put a kid in special ed next school year for the opinions of teachers he had this school year? Does it make any sense to put a child in special ed next school year based off the opinions of teachers he had this school year. It doesn't make any sense, does it? It doesn't make any sense, does it? And that's exactly why you should not sign permission for your child to be evaluated. The year is over. The year is over. The year is almost over. So if the school says we're concerned about his reading, you can say, He's going to be tutored for the eight months of summer vacation. If the school says we have a problem about her math, you can say she's going to be tutored all eight weeks of summer. So all you have to do to kill the conversation is tell them that you will be taking control of your child's academic challenges this summer. Your child should have a tutor. Three days a week, 90 minutes a session. Three days a week, 90 minutes a session, and you will eliminate any math, reading, writing, or other problem. You will eliminate it. Do not let them put your child in special ed next year for what the teacher thinks this year. Do not let them put your child in special ed next year for what the teacher thinks this year. That's number one. Number two of 10 commandments for the end of the school year. Number two. Re request a complete copy of your child's academic record. 
request the complete copy of your child's academic record. Request a complete copy of your child's academic record. All you have to do. And if you have the new book, Black Parent Advocate, the letter is in there. All you have to do is reproduce it. If you have my new book, Black Parent Advocate, the letter is already in there. All you have to do is reproduce it. Dear Principal Ifa Tunde, I am requesting a complete copy of my son, Jermaine Shoemake's full academic record. Jermaine Shoemake is a fourth grader at the Meade Elementary School at 18th and Oxford Street in North Philadelphia. And I want a complete copy of my son Jermaine's academic record, behavioral record, special education record, standardized testing record, nursing, nursing record, class, uh, nursing record, classroom notes. I want a complete copy of all of my son's paperwork. This is my right under the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act of 1974. Make sure you put that in your request so they know you know your rights. This is my right under the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act of 1974. F-E-R-P-A-7-4. F-E-R-P-A-7-4. Family Educational rights and privacy act you want to get that record and you want to go through your child's paperwork to see if there's anything in the record that is inaccurate because if there's anything in the record that is inaccurate you can have it removed do it this year don't wait for next year do it this year. And for those of you whose children are moving on to elementary school from preschool or moving on to middle school from elementary school or moving on to high school from middle school, you better do it now. Because if you don't get that paperwork straightened up now before he gets to the new school, the new school will not be able to take the paperwork out because they have no way of validating the authenticity of your claims or the authenticity of the paperwork. Get a copy of your child's record now. Address the letter to the principal. For those of you who have my book, the letter is in Black Parent Advocate book. The letter is there. All you have to do is reproduce it change out the names number one no evaluations number two get a complete copy of the record number three is for special ed parents in particular special ed parents in particular you need to ask yourself do you need to have an iep meeting to review your child's progress because your child, if they have an IEP, which means they are a special ed student, which means they have a disability, those three things go together. Those three things go together. Those three things go together. IEP, disability, special ed. You can't have one without the other two. If you have an IEP, that means you have a disability and you're in special ed. If you're in special ed, that means you have a disability and you have an IEP. You understand? Those three things go together. IEP, special ed, disability. If you are the parent of a special ed student and you don't believe the special ed student has made enough progress. If you are the parent of a special ed student and you don't think the special ed student has made enough progress, the special ed student is entitled to 
continuing education services during the summer. Continuing education services during the summer. Every special ed child in the United States of America is entitled to continuing education services if you don't feel, if you don't feel that your child has not made enough progress from August to May or September to June, you need to call an IEP meeting. You need to call an IEP meeting. Don't wait to the last minute and let your child's IEP team know my son needs to go to school during the summer because you have not taught him during the school year. My child needs to go to school during the summer. You have not taught him during the school year. My child needs to go to school during the summer. You have not taught him during the school year. Remember, special ed children have a right to continuing education during the summer. Call the IEP meeting now. That's number three. Number four. Number four. Start working on your child's summer activity plan. This is for all black parents. This is for all black parents. This is for all black parents. What is your son or daughter going to be doing between May and August or June and September? What is your child going to be doing between May and August or June and September? Remember, most girls get pregnant between three and seven. Most boys get arrested between three and seven. What will your child be doing during the summer months? We don't want teenage pregnancy. We don't want black on black homicide. So you need to be sitting down with your child and working on their summer, their summer activity program. Are they going away to camp? Are they going to have a job? Are they going to be volunteering? What is your son or daughter going to be doing this summer? An idle mind is a devil's workshop. An idle mind is a devil's workshop. And an idle black child's mind is the white man's workshop. An idle black child's mind is the white man's workshop. So number four, summer activity planning. Number five, get your child a public library card. Enroll your child in the summer reading program. Enroll your child in the summer reading program. Every major public library, I don't care if you in Phoenix, I don't care if you in Atlanta, I don't care if you in Detroit, Chicago, Milwaukee, Philly, Hartford, Brooklyn, I don't care where you are, Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, the main public library has a reading program and your child should be enrolled in the reading program program. They should be reading a book every week, all eight weeks of summer. So that's eight books that they should be reading. Eight books that they should be reading. Eight books that they should be reading. Get your children some books. We got black bookstores closing down, struggling all across the country because black parents will not take their children to the public library. Take them to the library. Number five, make sure your child is volunteering this summer, doing something for the community, something for a community organization, something for the homeless, something for the elders, something for the hospital, the infants, the homeless shelter. We have to teach our children service to the community. We must teach our children service to the community. Black children 
are more selfish today than they ever have been. Black children are more selfish today than they ever have been. Black children are more selfish today than they ever have been. Make sure your child knows what it means to give freely to those in need. Make sure your child knows what it means to give freely to those in need. Make sure they do some volunteer work. High school parents. High school parents. Number six, high school parents. Make sure your sons and daughters are enrolled in a ACT prep course or an SAT prep course or both an ACT and an SAT prep course. It only takes a few weeks. It will not last the whole summer. It only takes a few weeks. It will not last the whole summer. It only takes a few weeks. It will not last the whole summer. Get your sons and daughters enrolled in an ACT, SAT prep course. Get your sons and daughters enrolled in an ACT, SAT prep course, brothers and sisters. That's number six. We need them to score high for those who are college bound. We need them to score high for those who are college bound. We need them to score high for those who are college bound so they can get a free education. I'm almost to the point. I'm almost to the point where if they don't get that education paid for, at least 50% of it, I'm almost ready to say, if our children are not going to get their education paid for at least 50%, I'm almost to the point of saying they shouldn't go to college because they're going to owe too much money when they get out. So scholarships are a requirement, at least a partial scholarship, at least a partial scholarship. Scholarships are required for us to send our children to college. So make sure. Make sure they take the practice ACT test and prep course, practice SAT and prep course. Number seven, take your middle school and high school children to some college open house visits. Fifth grade is not too young to go to a college open house visit. Sixth and seventh grade is not too young to go to a college open house visit. Eighth and ninth grade is not too young to take your child to a college open house visit. Take them to Morehouse for a day. You can go to Atlanta and take a whole weekend and go see Spellman, Clark, Morehouse, you can ride an hour or two to Montgomery and Birmingham. You can ride an hour and two to Tuskegee. So that whole Florida, Alabama, Georgia, you got HB, North Carolina, South Carolina. You got all them HBCUs. You can visit Cheney University, Lincoln University, Delaware State University, University of Maryland, Eastern Shore. Take your children to the college open house. Go on the website and look for college tours or college open house visits. Take your children to the colleges so they can get an idea of what college life is all about. And along with that, along with that, you owe it to your child and to yourself. You owe it to your child and to yourself. You owe it to your child and to yourself to make sure they visit at least one trade and technical school. Make sure they visit at least one trade or technical school. Make sure they visit at least one 
trade or technical school, brothers and sisters. Take them to the electrical college. Take them to the plumbing college. Take them to the HVAC college. Take them to the carpentry college, the welding college. Take them to the auto mechanic school. Make them go to at least one trade or technical school open house because they might decide that they rather go to trade school than college. They might decide that they might want to go to trade school instead of college. They might decide that they want to go to trade school instead of college. So make sure you take them to at least one trade or technical college visit. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Reach out to the historically black colleges in your region. Reach out to the historically black colleges in your region. You could also reach out to the PWIs, but I'm really sick and tired of the PWIs. You can reach out to the PWIs, but I prefer you reach out to the HBCU and ask them about their PCPs, pre-college program. Ask them about their PCPs, pre-college program. Almost every college in America has a pre-college program where children go to the school for two to four weeks out the summer overnight in many cases. And if they complete the pre-college program camp, if they complete the pre-college program camp, they will either get a full ride to the college or a partial scholarship to the college. They will either get a full ride to the college or a partial scholarship to the college. Some of y'all heard of Upward Bound Program. The Upward Bound Program. The Upward Bound Program is one example of a pre-college program. The Upward Bound Program is one example of a pre-college program, but there's a lot of other pre-college programs. There's a lot of other pre-college programs. There's a lot of other pre-college programs programs, brothers and sisters. There's a lot of other pre-college programs, brothers and sisters. Get your child involved in an HBCU pre-college program. Number nine, enroll your child in some sort of structured, intellectual, extracurricular program this summer, structured, skill-based extracurricular activity. They might learn how to shoot guns. Maybe you buy them their first gun this summer. Maybe you buy them their first gun. Maybe you enroll them in a chess program. Maybe you teach them archery. Maybe they learn the art of hunting this summer. Teach your child a livable skill. Teach your child a livable skill. If you can't teach it, find somebody else who can teach it. Chess club, gun club, archery club, horseback riding club, white water rafting club, golf club. Get them in something other than football and basketball. They can still be in football and basketball, but find something else, please. Can we please get our boys involved in something other than football and basketball? Please, brothers and sisters. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine, for parents of children who are struggling to stay in school. For parents of children who are struggling to stay in school. I'm ready to come the main queen of spades. I'm ready to come the main queen of spades. Do you have a location for me? Do you have a location for me, Maine? Do you have a lecture location for me, Omaha? Do you have a lecture location for me, Arkansas? Do you have a lecture location for me, Arizona? Do you have a lecture location for me, Utah? 
Do you have a lecture location for me, Montana? Do you have a lecture location for me, Wyoming? Do you have a lecture location for me, New Hampshire? These are all the states I have never been to or haven't been to in a while. These are all the states I've never been to or haven't been to in a while. Do you have a lecture location? But getting back to the point. I digress. I digress. For parents of children who are struggling to stay in school. For parents of children who are struggling to stay in school, have a serious conversation. Don't be in denial, mother and father. Don't be in denial. Have a serious conversation about your son or daughter with your son or daughter and ask them. If you are not going to finish high school. I need you to enroll in a GED program this summer. And I need you to take the GED this fall. You have been cutting school. You've been getting suspended from school. You've been hooking, you've been smoking weed, you've been doing everything you're not supposed to, hanging out with the corner boys. If you are not going to finish school, I need you to enroll in a GED prep course right now. GED prep course right now. And I need you to take the GED this August or September. If you want to continue living in this house. If you want to continue living in this house, if you, if you want to continue living in this house, young man, if you want to continue living in this house, young lady, you're going to enroll in the GED program. You're going to enroll in the GED program and you're going to take the GED August or September, and you're going to immediately go to trade school. So you can either stay in high school and finish, or you're going to do three things. Stay in high school and finish, or you're going to enroll in a GED program, prep course, take the GED, and you're going straight into trade school. Those are your only options. Stay in high school. That means you go to school every day. Or enroll in a GED prep course, take the GED, and enroll in a trade and technical school by September. You're going to be in school in September. You're either going to be in high school or you're going to be in trade school. But you're going to be in school in September. You're either going to be in high school or you're going to be in grade school, but you're going to be in school. Parents of struggling children, don't turn your children over to the streets. Turn them over to the trade school, get them in a GED prep course, get them registered for the GED at the end of the summer and get them in a trade school. Number 10, number 10, number 10, last but not least, number 10, number 10, number 10, number 10, number 10. Physical fitness. Physical fitness. Physical fitness. Most of our kids are spending too much time in the house. Come up with a physical fitness plan for the summer for your child, because if you don't come up with a physical fitness plan for the summer for your child, they're going to go back to school 50 pounds heavier, 30 pounds heavier, 20 pounds heavier, 15 pounds heavier. You need a summer exercise plan, whether they're going to walk around the block 20 times, they're going to jog, push up, sit ups. They're going to go to the fitness center, the YMCA. Anytime fitness, basketball, football, they better do something, especially those of you who are raising obese children. If you are raising an obese child, if you are raising an obese child, if you are raising an obese child, make sure they have a summer fitness program. It's going to be good for their body, good for their brains and good for their self-esteem. It's going to be good for their bodies, good for their brains, and good for their self-esteem. Number 11. Number 11. Use this summer, black parents. Use this summer, black parents, to Africanize your child. Use this summer, your parents. Parents, 
to Africanize your child. Take them to the National Civil Rights Museum in Memphis. Take them to the Benjamin Banneker House in D.C. Take them to the Harriet Tubman home in Auburn, New York. Take them to the Frederick Douglass grave site in Rochester. Take them to the Nat Turner land in Virginia. Take them to the Smithsonian National African American Museum in DC. Take them to the HBCUs. You have all kinds of black museums and historic places around this country. Make sure you Africanize your child. Take them to some of these museums. Take them to our black institutions. Take them to our black bookstores and our black cultural centers. Make sure you Africanize your child this summer. Make sure you Africanize your child this summer. Make sure you Africanize your child this summer. Last but not least. Last but not least. Last but not least. Last but not least, Dr. Umar Johnson is going to be teaching a black history course for middle school students this summer. A black history course for middle school students this summer. The black history course for middle school students this summer, okay? Enrollment will start next week. We will meet on Zoom once a week. There will be homework and we will have four field trips. It will be your responsibility to get your child to the field trip location. We can meet them at the bus, meet them at the train, meet them at the plane, okay? There will be it will be co-ed boys and girls. It will be co-ed boys and girls. It will be co-ed. We will meet once a week on Zoom. The field trips that information will be given to you. There will be a parent orientation clubhouse call. There will be a parent orientation clubhouse call. If you are interested in having your middle school son or daughter. If you are interested in having your middle school son or daughter enrolled in Dr. Ifa Tunde's Black History course this summer, send me a text message. Send me a text message. Send me a text message. 215-989-9858. Middle school intensive. Middle school intensive intensive black history course taught by the Prince of Pan-Africanism. 215-989-9858. We're still looking at the college tours, but a lot of colleges are not doing tours because of the COVID. We're still looking at the FDMG Black College and Consciousness Tour, but a lot of colleges and HBCUs are not doing on-campus tours due to the COVID, so we're working on it. That's really all I wanted to say today. I wanted to just give you some pointers for the summer. Also, any parent who's having special ed issues, if you're having special ed issues, I don't know why you don't want to pay $75 to have Dr. Umar review your entire special ed folder. I don't understand you, Negroes. You have an expert. You have an expert who can help you. Make a copy of your child's entire special ed file. Once you request the FERPA paperwork, once you put in the FERPA request for a complete copy of your child's academic record, take that copy to the copy shop, have them copy the whole file, and then mail it to Dr. Umar. Take your child's academic record, behavior record, special ed record to the copy shop, tell them to make a copy, and then mail that whole file to Dr. Umar, and we will get on the phone or we can meet in person if you want to come to Philadelphia or Delaware 
and I will go through the whole file with you so you will be ready for next year. Some of you parents don't know what to make of your child's evaluation. You don't know what to make of their IEP. You don't know what to make of their diagnosis. You don't know what to make of their education. I'm here if you need me, but my services can't always be free. This Sunday, March the 27th, I will be speaking in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. This Sunday, March 27th, I will be speaking in Lansdale, Pennsylvania at the Black Reserve Bookstore. That's the Black Reserve Bookstore, Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Doors open up at 12 noon, lecture from two to four, book signing from four to six. Doors open up at 12 noon this Sunday in Lansdale at the Black Reserve Bookstore, lecture from two to four, book signing from four to six. Long Island, New York, I will see you on Saturday, April the 16th. Long Island, New York, I will see you on Saturday, April the 16th. All my New York City Africans, meet me in Long Island on April the 16th. Free lecture. Free lecture in Long Island for all my New York City Africans. Long Island, strong Island. Dr. Umar is coming to Long Island for the first time in many years. I've only been to Long Island twice. So I will be in Long Island on Saturday, April the 16th, Long Island. Albany, Georgia, Albany, Georgia. I am the man. I am man march. Dot org Albany, Georgia is April 31st and May 1st. April 31st and May 1st, Albany, Georgia. We working on that. San Diego, May 20. Lamert Park, Malcolm X Day, May 21st. Blessed Love Community Center, Los Angeles, May 22nd. That's a triple, that's a triple California weekend. San Diego World Beat Cultural Center. San Diego World Beat Cultural Center. Shout out to Queen Mother Makeda. Shout out to Queen Mother Makeda. San Diego World Beat Cultural Center. Friday night's main event, May the 20th. Lamert Park, Malcolm X Day, May the 21st. Dr. Umar speaks at 2 p.m. Saturday, May the 21st, Malcolm X Day, Lamert Park, Los Angeles. Dr. Umar speaks at 2. Can't wait to see all my L.A. family. Can't wait to see my San Diego family. And then on Sunday, May the 22nd, you know how we do it. Ross, Bob and Sister Kim, we will be at Blessed Love Community Center on Sunday, May the 22nd, brothers and sisters. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Sacramento and Oakland. I want to do y'all together, but I need to. I got a venue for Oakland. I need a venue for Sacramento. I got a venue for Oakland. I need a venue for Sacramento. I got a venue for Oakland. I need a venue. I need a venue for Detroit. I need a venue for Detroit. I need a venue for Detroit. Brothers and sisters, hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Brothers, let's stop hating on each other. Brothers, let's stop hating on each other. Brothers, stop hating on other brothers. Everybody has a talent. Find your talent and develop your talent. I was never a good football player. I was never a good basketball player. I was never a good dancer. I was never a good singer. So I'm not going to hate on the rapper. I'm not going to hate on the dancer. I'm not going to hate on the singer. I'm not going to hate on the football player. I'm not going to hate on the basketball player. My skills are intellectual in nature. You understand me? I'm blessed with the ability to connect with people. I am a master communicator, a master orator, a master scholar, a master educator, a master psychologist. That's my skill. I was put on earth to educate and inspire people. I was put on earth 
to educate and inspire people. I am a leader and an organizer. That's my gift. Don't be mad at me because you can't do what I can do because there's things you can do that I can't do. Okay. If somebody take your girl, find another girl. If your woman is in love with the Prince of Pan-Africanism, it's nothing you can do about that. Okay. Just get over it and go find you another queen. And if you can't find you a queen, let me know. I'll give, I'll give you one of my queens, okay? Okay, brothers. Let's work together and let's stop hating on each other. <laughs> this is King Kong Consciousness. Lansdale, PA, Saturday. Long Island, New York, April 16th. Albany, Georgia, April 30th and May 1st. San Diego, May 20th. Lamert Park, Malcolm X Day, May 21st. Blessed Love Community Center, May 22nd. Nat Turner Land, August the 21st. Nat Turner Land, November the 11th. Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy Family Festival Part 2, Saturday, September the 10th. More vendors, more performers, more food, more giveaways, more Ifa Tunde. I want to, how, where are my ladies at? Where are my, where the queendom at? The Ifa, I'm getting some t-shirts made just for the Ifa Tunde queendom. I'm getting some t-shirts made for all my lady supporters. Ifa Tunde Queendom. Ifa, where my Ifa Tunde Queens? Give me some hats at. 35 to 55, extra thick in the thighs with a natural head. I said 35 to 55, extra thick in the th I'm just kidding. My wife gonna get mad at me. I'm just kidding. My wife, I'm looking for one more wife, though. I'm looking for one more. Let me stop. Let me stop flirting with the queendom. I love you, too, Pernita. Mary Yang, what's good, queen? Is your hair natural, Mary? You got to be natural now. See, when we do the conscious singles event, if you're not natural, you can't get in. Beat the drum for the nappy, the natural... Beat the drum for the natural headed queens. Beat the drum for the natural headed queens. Yes, indeed. Beat the drum for all the black men who only date black women. Beat the drum for all the brothers who don't have snow bunny crisis. Beat the drum. I'm just kidding. y'all. I'm just having a good old day. Extra thick. Woof. Woo. Cinnabons. Ain't nothing like some Cinnabons. But brothers and sisters, if you need to reach me, 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. Happy to be nappy. That's what I'm talking about, Laren Drummond. That's what I'm talking about. 215-989-9858. It is consciousness over the cookies. Beat the drum. Consciousness over cookies. Politics over Punani. Revolution over romance. And business before the bedroom. I said business before the bedroom. If you can't help me build, if you cannot help me build, you will get no milk with your cookies. Brothers and sisters, that's all I wanted to say today. Hit the cash app, hit the PayPal, September 10th. We're going to make it pop. Lansdale, PA, Black Reserve Bookstore. I'm going to see everybody Sunday, 2 to 6, doors at 12. Long Island, New York, free. Free, free, free. Long Island, April 16th. That information will be coming out soon. California, can't wait to see you. 
I ain't seen my San Diego African since 2017. I ain't seen my San Diego African since 2017. I ain't seen my San Diego African since 2017. I'm going to see everybody again soon. Peace and Pan-Africanism.